Hey guys, okay, it's time for a gardening update. Let's do part one. Part one is Robert's farm. It got destroyed on the last storm. You guys knew we were having storm issues. Heavy, heavy winds, streets coming down and everything. He had to till the entire garden under and he's going to start from scratch. Uh, I'll try and get over there and get some footage, but basically it's, it's not good. Uh, our Maxwell house tomato plant might still be growing, but uh, I'll hook up with him in a little bit. Uh, but right now I'm here in Springfield because one of the things that happened here, they got a big storm too, but uh, I'm, I'm with the Tower Gardens, with Mona and the Tower Gardens, and they didn't, they didn't, they could move. They could move their stuff. So let me show you what I'm talking about. For those of you who didn't catch the Tower Garden video that I did, I wanna show you how good they're still doing after storm, after storm, after storm, and they're still standing strong. And, and we're gonna update you. I promised you I would show you the greenhouse with the new ones, the new Tower Gardens. The, they're commercial ones, right? Commercial Tower Gardens, uh-huh. All right, so these are the ones I already showed you, and she started over another round because the stuff grows so fast, like what, three to six weeks, you're eating it all. Oh, we're eating it all. Yeah, I mean, look at, Look at this, it's all over the place. It's growing like crazy. I didn't even talk about these rack things that you can tie to. Support if, cages. Yeah, for the tomato plants, right? The tomato plants and it supports all your produce here. Your right. eggplant, look at the eggplant over there. Oh, we have eggplant, oh, there it is. We have eggplant, so yeah. supporting all the eggplant. And this is. So it's flourishing, guys. It's flourishing, it's and really it, overgrown. And there's no dirt, and this they're on wheels, so you can wheel them, she can wheel them in there if like it gets cold in the winter time and grow these under a grow light seriously so this is why i'm out here because um you say we have we can be able to show them what they look like the new ones right i, I do i want to hear you hear the waterfall effect yeah i want to show you how the water is they say no dirt see no. how water oh, yeah. just coming up in there perfectly clean water recycling itself right and it does that what, every 15 every, every 15 fi minutes 15 minutes that's right i was gonna say seconds every 15 minutes all right and she's even kicking out some lettuce it nobody grows lettuce in the summer because it's so harsh on lettuce but look at how look at this i just had a piece of this stuff is sweeter than heaven that's awesome and that's how it works guys so you got your water tank down there it comes up the center it's pumped and it flows down all the roots. Do we have any roots to show anybody? Go all right, out. so she's gonna pull this one out and show us. I want you to see, this is, sorry, I'm totally disrupting her flow, smell but look at that. all my roots. Look at that, I got You know you that. get a look kick out of smelling my roots. I love it, I gotta smell these. You smell those roots. Oh, guys, you would think it came right out of the ground. And then watch, she's gonna feed it back into the hole where it's getting all its nutrients and water. And we're actually gonna eat it. You're eating that? Oh, we're eating that today? We're gonna eat that today. Is that what's going in our salad? That's what's going in our salad. We're gonna make a salad. Mona's make making salad. me a salad for lunch. I don't have to wash it because it's all clean, all natural. It hasn't been, it didn't come out of the dirt. It came right off the plant. And how long did this plant, how long has this plant been growing? Because it's huge. Oh, yeah. It's been growing since a little bitty tomato put in there. I'm gonna say April. End it's been April, growing since April, April and it's taken over the entire yard here and I'm gonna try this right now and how many tomatoes you pulled off so far oh hundreds hundreds mmm <laughs> sweet oh sweet. and that nothing never any supermarket you can go to Whole Foods you can go to the fresh market you can go anywhere you want fresh. it's never ever gonna be sweet like that ever Fine. all right this is what it looks like when you start it guys this, you started this how long ago? This, um, we started this last week. Last week, mm -hmm. okay. So I will give an update on my social media. You can hear the water running again. You can hear every 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm all excited, I'm running, I'm running. This is it, you had the, uh, <gasps> wow. Look how tall they are. Look how beautiful? tall. They're like really, really tall. Here, do me a favor. Just film me over there so I can show how tall. Look how tall. Isn't that cool? Are they huge? Welcome to Tennessee Urban Farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so what is this? What micro kind? Greens. Micro greens. This is the micro greens. Really, really good. It's one of the brands of lettuce. Mmm. Got a little spice to it. Oh yeah, got a little minty heat, kind of a. Uh -huh. Oh wow! Oh no, it does get hot. <laughs> that got hot. 
<laughs> I've never had hot lettuce. That's spicy. It's spicy. You tricked me. I'm hot and spicy. <laughs> that is really, guys, I've never had spicy lettuce. This is our salad bar. Salad bar. Salad bar. Nice. We've I love how you have names for each tower. I know, isn't it fun? Any of these burn your mouth? No, these don't burn your mouth. <laughs> super red, you can have some super red. It's super red, guys, super that's red. super red. Look at this. Why do I smell it? I don't smell it because I'm afraid it's gonna be bad or I wanna see if it's rotten. I smell it because it's got fragrances that I've never smelled before in all my years of buying all lettuce because nothing's better than fresh. So not only we supply this tower gardens for residential and commercial. Right. Uh, this is really cool because we're going, we're growing up. Right. Um, we also supply now the seedlings that go into those tower gardens. So um, we're really excited about that. Working on our certification to be certified seedling grower for Tennessee, and nice. I'm really excited about that. And then you can see the date, the 724 is when these were planted. And you know what I love the most, Jack? What? We get to pray over every seed that we plant. So we're literally praying and sowing some seed in every household. And I love that. And how long ago was that? 24? How many days ago? Yeah, today's the 27th. Wait, so they've already popped up in like in three days? Yeah. Okay, guys. I know you're like, Jack, get over it. You're all excited about this. I'm excited because this is year-round fresh produce for anybody who wants a tower. I don't, I don't belong to the company. I don't sell these. I probably won't sell these ever in my life. But when I find something so incredible that can help so many people, apartments could have these on their rooftops in New York. This is year round food. You yield 30% more food than if it was in the ground. No weather's gonna knock it out. And, and you, or you just bring it indoors. It wheels right indoors. This is great for like, I don't know. I mean, any community. It, um, senior assisted living places. It gives people purpose. You know what it's like to go outside and grow something? I've been trying for years and everything I touch dies. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our lettuce. We're gonna get our lettuce. And what she does is she cuts the tops off and, and then it can grow. Live. Keep it growing, right? Keep growing. And this is a little bit, like you said, it's been 108 here. Oh yeah, 108 you degrees, little, you so. You want a little hot and spicy? You want a little? Yeah, put a little heat into it. Arugula's great. I'm gonna make it pretty for you. I'm gonna put some edible flowers in there. Edible flowers? Yeah, you got. You I'm know gonna me. eat flowers in my I'm, right. I'm flip flop and pearls. Remember, so we got to make it pretty, pretty for you. <laughs> <laughs> I garden in my flip flops and pearls. Exactly. All right. What else would you like? A jalapeno in there? Um, what? Are, what dill? You want some dill in dill there? Dill in there? Yeah. I have a big dill over there. Oh, do you? Got some dill in there. All and right. And then you want to put jalapenos? Do you have jalapenos? Oh, we have to have garlic chive. Oh, where's garlic chive? Oh, we got. It. Chive. Look at my chive. Oh, is that, is that garlic good. chive? Yes. Oh, yeah, grab a lot of that. I'm a big chive right. fan. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that fistful. You can see the moisture and the, mm, smell the freshness. Mm. Oh, that smells like garlic. <laughs> that totally smells like garlic. I know, right? Oh, my gosh. Give me a breath, man. <laughs> quick. I already picked fresh cucumbers this morning, so I've already got All right, you got today. fresh cucumbers already? Yep. Already okay. Cucumbers. No so. problem. We've got fresh tomatoes inside. So my my question is Fresh to you tomatoes is, already in, okay. Let's do a little bit of let's do some of these in there. What are those? These are mandarin orange lemon. Uh, or mandarin orange marigold. Mandarin orange marigold. Smell that. Watch this step here. Oh my goodness, I can't even explain that. What does that smell it's like? like? A, it's like an old mandarin orange. It, yeah, it's its own fragrance. It's, yeah. It's and almost like a edible. perfume. It's beautiful. We're gonna throw some of that in there. Nice. All right, guys. Just want to show you my salad up close. This is literally 100% Tower Garden salad right there. Is that gorgeous? I just we just added the cucumbers and the yellow tomatoes, and there's the marigold flower. See it right there? It's beautiful. Look at that. I'm gonna go eat this. Oh, you could smell the garlic chives in it. This is gonna be so amazing. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.